All right, guys, what's up? Hidden Wisdom 2020 here. So what we have to realize is that the Bible is unraveling itself, revealing itself in ways that most people have never heard in a church building. And this is both good and also can be dangerous. And that is because when you hear new things, when you hear new revelations, new ways of looking at the scriptures, um, you have to be careful, but also you have to be open if you want to see things <clears throat> in a bigger light and a bigger picture. So here we are. This is what came to me today. Amazing. We all know the verse in Genesis chapter 1. And God tells them. And I believe Genesis chapter 2 also. He says. Be fruitful. And multiply. Notice how I underline fruitful. And multiply. Okay. So in that context. At that time. In Genesis, he was talking about being fruitful and multiply. He was talking about children, right? And he's saying, uh, uh, fill the earth with, with kids, right? Multiply. But now let's look at it today. How does this look? Be fruitful and multiply today in the spiritual application. The spiritual application. What is fruit? You shall know man by its fruit. You'll know man by its fruit. Are we talking about peaches and apples and pears? No, we're not talking about a man having that type of fruit. We know that the fruits of the spirit, there are nine of them, right? We know that the fruit is the knowledge and wisdom and understanding of God, right? So be fruitful. So think of fruit like that and multiply. Aha, multiply. Well, how do we look at that in a spiritual sense? Well, we have addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. All right, guys. So let's take God's advice and multiply. The year 2023, 20 times 23 is the number 460, which is lawless. Think of this as a pattern. Look at what's going on. The pattern, the road that we are going down the last seven years here. Okay, what about the year 2024? Well, let's be fruitful and multiply it. 20 times 24 is 480. 480, the number in the Strong's Greek concordance means to oppose. Look at to oppose the lawless. 2025, let's multiply it. 20 times 25 is the number 500. In the Strong's concordance Greek, the number 500 is Antichrist. Right in the middle of the seven years. I've shown you guys this before. But matching it up with being fruitful and multiplying. God told us to multiply. What about 2030? 20 times 30 is the number 600. 600 in the strongest concordance is to restore back. To restore back. That's the times of restitution in Acts chapter 3. The appearing of Jesus Christ. And then if you add 20 plus 30, it's 50, which is a jubilee. The end of the 120 jubilees spoken about in Genesis chapter 6, verse 3. You see, it's this is how you, God reveals the larger meanings in, lo, in the Bible. This is revelation, and it's matching up with scripture, except in an application that hasn't really been thought of. <laughs> Being fruitful, thinking of what is real fruit? Well, it's not pears and peaches. Yeah, that's one way to look at it. But fruit, you'll know a man by his fruit. The knowledge and wisdom and understanding of God. The joy of God. So be fruitful and multiply. We're multiplying. <laughs> God showed me this this morning. Matched it up. I knew about all this already. But he matched it up with the verses in Genesis 1 and 2. There's a spiritual application to every physical application in the Bible. Higher and lower meanings, how I would put it in my opinion.
Look! Look at them! They're everywhere! Maybe they can see our fifth and spring. Now hold on. You ain't the first son of a bitch to wake up out of their dream. What's that? 